Welcome back, MTG here with another episode. And today, I'm finally here to show you guys the official Android 10 update for the OnePlus 7 Pro. So without further delay, let's dive right in. All right, everybody, so here's my lock screen, but that's not the most important thing I'm going to dive right in. So basically when you get Android 10, these are the things to look for. So one thing I did notice is that the fingerprint sensor is much quicker than Android 9.0 Pi. So that's it. I didn't really need to hold on it. I just placed it my finger and that's it. Very quick and snappy. Now, before we dive right into what at least I noticed, there are obviously a lot of handful of new features on Android 10, but first thing is dark mode. I'll get into that. We're going to go to about phone and then Android version it says right there, Android version 10. And it's not Android Q. They didn't really name it this time around. So it's just called Android 10. Now OnePlus has been sending the updates over the air, but if you don't want to wait, I have the file. Uh, and I'll link it in the description down below if you guys just don't uh, have any more time to wait. And that's what I did. Uh, mine didn't come over the air. I side loaded it. So what you do is basically you would go to system updates and then right where it has that settings button, you would go to local upgrade and then you download it from there. So let's dive right in and I'll show you what's new. Okay, so update, I did move to a different spot to uh, record this video for lighting purposes. But right now my phone is turned off and the big thing you'll notice with Android 10 is when you boot it up, well, that's the first thing I noticed. Right there. You will be getting the new Android 10 logo. And if we can focus. There you have it. There's a the boot up screen. So a couple new things, uh, gestures, themes, dark mode. Uh, another thing that OnePlus did bring was ultra wide video recording as well as telephoto video recording. In Android Pi, you didn't have the option to record with the ultra wide lens, but now we do, and I'll get into that. And then also game space. So let's first dive on or dive in to gestures. So what you're going to do is, if you go to button and gestures, right there, navigation and bar. So right now I have just a normal, uh, what we know, the Android the circle, square and triangle buttons, uh, kind of reminiscent of, I guess you can say PlayStation. So we have that, and then we have the navigation gestures, the left and right. Now it's going to bring this little like uh, really thin bar on the very bottom. And what we do is we swipe up to go home. And let's say we go into a couple of, I don't know, a couple of different apps. Now what we wanna do to get to recents is obviously hold, swipe up and hold, and there you go. Uh, I'm still learning on it, but it's a bit confusing. So take some time to get used to. Now. Let's say we're in Google Chrome and there's no back button. What you're going to do is swipe from the left of the screen to go back. Okay, so there's a forward, my bad. So to go forward, swipe right, and then to go backwards. If it's not working, there we go. Right back to where we were. So bear with me, so there we go. So swipe on the left side of the screen to go back and then the white and right side to go forward. 
So there's that. It's a bit confusing. Um, still learning how to use it. And then I think this one's actually much easier. This is where you have nothing uh, and no little thin bar on the bottom. Uh, this is actually a bit easier on my hand and that's only because of swiping back. So if I want to go back, you just got to swipe on the bottom left of the screen to go back. If you want to go forward, why isn't it working? But like I said, um, just bear with me. Still learning how to use it. I think I'm going to end up just probably keeping the traditional buttons. So let's go back to that. And there, I'm all, I'm all set with that. Now, another thing I noticed with the Android 10 update on the OnePlus 7 Pro is if you go to customization, you have all these different, you can, your present theme right now is illuminating light. Uh, we can try the other themes. Um, and if you notice, there is a slight difference. Not a really big fan of that. So you have that. Uh, I'm probably gonna go with illuminating light and keep that. And then we obviously have your wallpapers, clock style, the fingerprint animation, the horizon light. So when you get notifications, um, you can change the light on that. And then we also have system customization. So you can change basically your um, display color. Um, and then you can also change the color of really the accents. So right now I have a green accent. Uh, you can change the tone. So right now it's in light mode. And obviously I'm gonna, I'm gonna choose dark mode. So there is a system-wide dark mode. Let's go back to customization. Then we got the shapes. Uh, I'm using the round shapes. You can either choose square or the teardrop. I'd probably go with just the round shape. Then icon pack. So you do have the one plus, the round. Um, doesn't look as great. Or you can go with square. Probably wouldn't go with that. And you can choose more, download more icon packs but I'm gonna stick with OnePlus. And then your font. So you can choose the Roboto or Roboto and the OnePlus Slate. Um, and I'm just gonna stick with what I have. So that's new in the Android 10 update. So we have much more customization options uh, on the OnePlus 7 Pro in Android 10. Now, like I said, dark mode is system wide. So you're getting it throughout the whole system. You would be getting it throughout the Google apps. There are some apps that have yet to come, uh, like Gmail, uh, Keep Notes is definitely um, dark mode. Uh, there are a couple apps that still have to switch to dark mode. But other than that, Chrome, for example, it's in dark mode, which is great. And then that's pretty much it for dark mode. Uh, it's probably going to be a little more better on battery, conserving battery, obviously, since AMOLED AMO display. Um, and then there is something that I've been waiting for for such a long time, and that is the camera. Now we're going to be getting ultra wide and telephoto options for when recording video. So right now we're just in a normal lens, we go into telephoto, and then the ultra wide. It's pretty great. Um, I'll definitely use ultra wide for video recording, not just in my case, I wouldn't use telephoto for video recording, but that's great. Uh, and I don't know if this was an Android 9, but another thing I noticed myself was I swipe up and I get all the options. So nightscape, uh, portrait mode, pro mode, time lapse, slow motion. And you get all those settings there. Uh, now there is one thing that I do want to state. If you're not really happy with the OnePlus 7 Pro stock camera, you can go and sideload the Pixel 
3 the camera APK uh, right now this is the actual Pixel 3 camera I did make a video on the Pixel 4 camera APK uh, there were a bunch of bugs but I am working on making a new video on that and hopefully uh, getting a stable version of the Pixel 4 camera so stay tuned for that video uh, but I would definitely recommend if you don't like the OnePlus 7 camera um, but obviously OnePlus has been putting out really good updates so I uh, shouldn't see any sort of a problem with the camera. Now one more thing that OnePlus did bring to the table is something called GameSpace. So GameSpace is where it stores all of your games in one place. It's the only ones I have. I don't even play Minecraft and obviously I play Pokemon Go. But it's a great thing to store all of your games in one place. Um, and that's what I like about OnePlus. It's still Oxygen OS, but it's you have more options to customize, add themes and whatnot. Um, it's probably the best uh, skin for Android. And I would probably say I like it better than stock Android. Uh, now with stock Android on the upcoming Pixels, you should be getting some sort of a theme with uh, Android 10 on the Pixel 4 and 4XL. That has yet to be confirmed, but then again, you still have more options on a custom OEM like OnePlus. Anyway, everybody, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. And if you did, be sure to superman that like button. Comment down below your opinions, suggestions, anything really, because the more interactions that we get with the video helps not only the video and the channel, but it helps the video to get to more viewers. And best of all, superman that subscribe button. Until next time, everybody, and until next video. This is MTG.